Hey guys, welcome back to part four of the unboxing review of my 163 centimeter Galatea doll presented by All Your Dolls, my brand new companion doll vendor. And if you're looking for a companion doll, remember guys, all you have to do is check the about section of my YouTube channel and you will find All Your Dolls and all of the rest of my vendors. And believe me, Companion Dog can really add some joy to your life. So, in part four, we're gonna take a look at both of the heads that they sent me for this Galatea Dog. And I can't lie, I'm gonna choose the best head to go with that body. And uh, it'll probably be the one I use going forward most of the time. So with all that said, let's check out those heads hey guys so I have my Galatea doll over here I sat her up I put a little black bra on her I know us guys don't always like to mismatch panties and bra but hey uh, it's all I could do for right now uh, but over here are the heads as you can see on this head it has a screw tape to it and on this head it doesn't that's because this is more likely the main head uh, that I ordered for the body and this is the extra head so uh, I'm going to see which one looks better main head or not I'm putting the best head on so I'm going to start with this head I'm going to uh, slit it open and uh, get this head out of here we're going to check it out so I opened this first head up a little bit I haven't looked at it yet I'm going to be looking at it with you guys the final reveal for the first head. I, I promise you it was a super beautiful head as a Caucasian uh, doll. So I'm anxious to see what the black version is going to look like. Whoa. Just in the plastic it looks totally different from the white version. Oh my god. Let's see. Whoa. This looks nothing like. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. This looks nothing like. Um, the head that I thought I chose. I say that. And that's sometimes the game you play. When you try to mix and match colors. Because. It was promoted as a uh, Caucasian dog, but I don't remember her lips looking like this at all. The lips on this, 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 uh, it looks totally different than I remember. It's a sort of soft silicone face. I can tell that right now. Is this mouth open? I thought it did. Oh, it does. Has teeth in there. We'll check that out later. But this head definitely. Uh, I see a. Seems to be a bit of a. Is that sweat or a seam line? I think that's sort of. Just sweat there. But I see a. A seam line. I'm not really loving on this dog's face. I'm not liking that seam line. It's probably not the same line. It's probably the mark from that plastic. Uh, yeah. Uh, I put this doll on the body just to see what it looks like. But I will say, this looks nothing like the Caucasian face that was promoted. It looks way different. So, I'm still going to try it on even though I'm not the biggest fan of it right now. Uh, I love those eyes that I chose. But these lips and... Just something not right about it. As I look up under the head at the screw, uh, I see they already have one in here because the one that was stuck to the head, uh, I was thinking like, man, shouldn't it be an extra extra screw? But it is one already in the doll's head. So, uh, like I said, she's not as bad as I was making it. I mean, she 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 is cute. Uh, it's just sort of how dogs are sometimes. They just take a little time to grow on you a little bit. 
I know it's only been a few minutes, but looking at her again, like she she's not a bad looking girl. She's really not a bad looking girl. It's just that she's a dark skinned companion dog. I'm not really used to him. But let me see if I can handle this head. Ooh, it's heavy. This head is heavy, man. Oh boy. I don't know if I can pull the one hand willy and put this dog head on today. We're gonna see though. I don't know. I might have to take two hands. Okay. Okay, I must say, I must say, uh, now that I have this dog head uh, on the body, uh, it is actually beautiful to me. I'm going to be honest. This head is a lot more beautiful uh, than it first struck me. At first I was like, man, something ain't right about this head, but actually, she looks pretty beautiful. Especially with those eyes. I can't wait to do the eye, eye portion of uh, this review. But no, no, no. She, she's actually taking me aback now. Uh, yeah, I, I like her. I like that head a lot now. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, when I first saw it, I'm like, hey, what is this? But now I can actually see remnants of that other girl in this face. I don't know how you feel about it, but I think she is absolutely gorgeous. Now that I'm really looking at her, I like it a lot. Uh, we do need to try to put the wig on and see what this head looks like. So let's do that now. Okay, this is her with her wig on. Uh, I really like this wig. I'm going to be quite honest with you. Uh, I'm not sure it's the best fit for her necessarily. But uh, it was the best choice of wig that I could uh, I could choose uh, from the Galatea collection that I thought would best match a uh, woman of color. Uh, but I'm gonna be honest, <laughs> I really have to take everything I said back initially about this face. This face is beautiful to me. I think she's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, even when you look in her eyes or whatever. Uh, that slight hint of yellow hits off with the wig a bit. Uh, I'm not saying it's a perfect match or anything, but it's a cute girl. I'm going to be able to work with this girl here and make her uh, really fulfill all her potential. Uh, I really do like this first face. I can't believe how much it's grown on me. I did a complete 360. When I first saw it, I said, hey, this ain't quite right, but no, this, this girl is mystical. I tried to do something different with the eyes. Uh, like I say, I can fish around and mess around with different wigs, but uh, I like what this girl is looking like. She She's beautiful. She's absolutely beautiful. Uh, I got to see what this second face is going to look like, uh, if it's going to be able to take the place of this one. So let's take a look at that one right now. But this is beauty. True beauty. My mistake. Ah, wait a minute. Let's take a look. Uh, I thought... I, uh, I, I can't hardly get it open. Uh, look. I saw some teeth in there. See? I'm trying to see if I can get to the teeth. So I, I see some teeth in there. So it's supposed to be, I think the ROS. See, there we go. There go teeth. Oh, so she has some nice pair of the white teeth. Let me see. She has some upper teeth. Uh, I don't know, it looked like a little stain on that tooth. Yeah, let's see. It's hard to get it open, I'm gonna be honest. It is hard. But you see, it look like a little, maybe a little red on that tooth, maybe. Yeah, it's a little red on that tooth, so. Some of the lipstick or so got onto the top of the teeth. So that's something for Galatea Dar to work on. I don't know how that happened, but. 
Uh, to be honest with you, it's so hard to open her mouth that I've never be seen, to be honest. But that was an imperfection. Uh, and that's the only other imperfection that I've found other than that mark that's over here on her breast. So, uh, glad I opened it up and saw that. So, those would be two things. If I was just a, a normal paying customer, I would point out this to uh, all your dogs. I'd be like, hey, my dog had an indention on her breast. So, I always take pictures when you open your dogs. And I would also say, hey, I see something on her teeth. Now, uh, they would probably send you a replacement head or some of that nature or... They may give you some sort of gift uh, discount code or something, you know, to sort of make up for your pain. So, uh, but all in all, uh, they're not too serious of issues. So, uh, I think she's absolutely gorgeous. Let's check out the second head now. Okay, guys, I did the same thing with the second head. I opened it up just enough to give a little preview. I haven't seen anything. I'm going to see it with you guys, so. Uh, we know it's still another dark skin head. That's all we both know. So let's open it. Is it better or worse? Oh, it's already got a screw in it as well. Look. So I got three screws, actually. Cool. Now this head was also extremely beautiful. Caucasian. Let's see what it looks like in the chocolate form. It actually looks awfully similar. It's different though. It, it actually looks awfully similar though. Yeah, see these heads. At first I thought that was the same line, but that was just some sweat uh, on the dog head. Uh, when they're dark like this, these heads, I guess it makes them look awfully similar, but the girls were totally different. Uh, it's Caucasians, but yeah, this is a different head, though. She has a different set of eyes. Uh, she has sort of a grayish blue eye with this dog. Uh, I got both of them with sort of a natural lipstick. Uh, but she's super cute. Once again, it takes my eyes a little while to adjust. Now I can find and sort of see the other face that I chose uh, in this girl. I actually think this is a great head too. So I'm going to pop it on and, and see what it looks like. Wow, wow, wow. My God. I'm going to be honest. Uh, both of these heads really look beautiful to me. I'm just going to be, I, I, I really don't know which one to go with. Uh, this one is remarkably beautiful. Uh, like I said, I went non-traditional with both of their eyes. Uh, I knew it was going to add a nice touch. And like I say, the wig is a great wig. I love this wig from Galatea, dog. Don't get me wrong. Uh, like I say, it may not quite be the perfect wig for these heads, uh, but it's an amazing wig. Um. Uh, but like I said, I can fish around and, and, and keep searching for different wigs, but uh, it's crazy. I, I really don't know how to feel because this head is entrancing me uh, in its own way as well. It's so beautiful, so captivating. I think the skin tone and uh, like they say, this um, it's, it's crazy how this human skin texture, it comes through without you sort of really focusing on the skin texture it's just i don't know it, it does bring this dog to life in a different way but this face is uh absolutely gorgeous i mean i like both uh maybe this one is a bit cuter uh but i think i sort of like the eye color maybe a little bit better on the other dog i i don't know it's really a toss-up I have to have some of your opinions. Which head do you like better? The first head or the second head? Uh, for me, it's a bit of a toss up. Uh, but this is, this this one probably edges out the other one for me. Uh, but they are both beautiful. And honestly, I wouldn't have any problems uh, changing either one of these heads out for the other one. Uh, Galatea, dog. Like I say, is there. 
inventory grows, it's for dogs to choose from. They're only going to get better, and believe me, uh, they're already doing a great job. I did a complete 360 <laughs> from when I first opened it because I'm just not used to having a darker companion doll, and I think it takes a while for the features to sort of sink into your brain and your mind. Uh, but yes, uh, I actually think this wig looks good on this head too. Uh, uh, there's the other head over there. I love that head too. But this one may be uh, the winner for me. But I do want to hear your comments. The first head, which is the original, or the second head? Which one did you like the best? Hey guys, this is actually several days later. Uh, man, believe it or not, uh, this small footage... Uh, was deleted when I was editing and uh, the footage I'm talking about is this I never talked about the ROS on this girl or real oral structure so let's see how well it works on her and as you can see it actually comes open and I just did that with one hand a lot easier with this doll head as opposed to the last dog here. Let me open it up a little bit more. It's actually a lot easier when you use two hands. Let me see. As you can see, her teeth look perfect. They're in great condition. No staining. Uh, this head is performing very well. With the ROS, I love it. Super realistic. Other than my real doll, this is the uh, only company that I've gotten an ROS uh, or real oral structure head from. And I think it's absolutely marvelous. Uh, so, I think she's beautiful. I love that you can open her mouth. Lips look very realistic. Let's open it back up again. Uh, the tongue. It is not a removable tongue. It's sort of like a painted on type tongue. But no offense. I don't think you really need to remove the tongue. Uh, that's something that they can always add it later on. But I do think it's really, really great the way it is right now. Uh, very nice. Very nice. Uh, and very easy to maneuver. And boy, is this girl a real beauty. Well, guys, I'm back again because you remember this. How I can open her mouth, but I couldn't open the other one's mouth. Well, watch this. Boom. <laughs> she looks a bit scared, but I was able to get the mouth open. Uh, it, this one just required a lot more force to open it, so I used two hands off camera. Uh, and as you can see, I hate to show this again, but there is the marks on the teeth. So the ROS, the uh, real oral structure, is present on both dolls, but I have a bit of a stain on the tooth, and then I have an indention on this breast. Like I said earlier, but those are the only two problems. I'm so glad that the ROS at least works on this dog, on, on this dog head. Now, uh, personally, I hope that uh, Galatea doll and all your dogs reaches out to me and allows me to uh, actually replace this head uh, because I don't really love that uh, on her teeth. Uh, but uh, you know, if they do that, I'd be totally happy. Or uh, either way, we'll, we'll work something out because uh, I'm sure uh, that they definitely want to keep all their customers happy and even me, you know, doing this review. So, because uh, I'm very pleased with both heads. Uh, I just had to show you that the ROS actually does work on this dog. Just had to use a little bit more force. Right, girls? Man, I keep forgetting stuff, but. One thing I wanted to show you was this. Oops, tripped over something. I talked about it earlier, but you see a little line right here? That's not a factor or problem 
that was actually caused by one of these. So they may actually have to investigate. Uh, I don't know. Maybe these are good, but it's probably the way that the dog was sitting in the box. So they'll probably have to figure out some things because I'm hoping that that will come out in time, but it's no guarantee. And I saw a smaller one on her. You see that? That's not a factory uh, defect. That comes from uh, that plastic covering. Uh, I guess they were sitting upside down and that plastic was crushing into their heads. So, uh, luckily they are dark. <laughs> uh, it, it won't be that noticeable uh, over time, I'm sure. But uh, just something to be watching out for, Galatea. Uh, let them know all your dogs. Uh, ways they can improve uh, or even if it's you or your job dogs whoever is doing the packaging make sure uh, they're aware of that plastic pressing into the heads uh, of the breast indention and also make people aware of this but other than that i love me some galatea dog I'm telling you so far hope you really enjoyed part four of the unboxing review of my 163 centimeter full silicone Galatea doll that's presented by my new vendor, All Your Dolls. I really enjoyed this part of the review. Those heads were absolutely beautiful. And one of the things I really loved about those heads is they had the full skin pattern just like the rest of the body. Uh, and it really added to the beauty of those heads so with all this said hope you guys tune in to part five where i'll be doing a skeletal review to see how this girl is twisting and turning making sure everything is a-ok -okay. and remember if you need a companion dog just check out the about section on the front page of my youtube channel and you can find my link for all your dogs and all the rest of my vendors. But as of now, it's been me, Jada Akeem Hefner, and my beautiful 163 centimeter full silicone Galatea doll. We are.